If you want cheap simple commuting in comfort with style and reliability, then look no further than the Kawasaki J125, looking like a Kawasaki ZX-10R from the front with its sleek ninja family styling, the J125 is really a Taiwanese-made Kimco Downtown 125 underneath, just like the larger Kawasaki J300, which is based on the Downtown 300. All Kawasaki did to make the 125 version was swap the 300 engine for a 125, almost everything else remains the same. This means it's a far more physically substantial machine than its competition and tips the scales at a hefty 182 kilograms. Don't be put off by its lack of capacity, though in any major city commute you really don't need anything more than what the Kawasaki J125 provides. Its physical size and impressive spec could also prove attractive to experienced riders looking for a cheap low-capacity commuter for the daily slog. It also claimed MCN's 2016 Best Scooter Award and was discontinued at the advent of Euro 5. The single-cylinder four-stroke Kimco motor is much more responsive than you'd expect. It will comfortably haul its big body up to an indicated 62 miles per hour without any fuss and roll onto a little more, it'll also cruise happily at those speeds, albeit with the engine working overtime at around 9000 rpm. It's doing around 6000 rpm at 30 miles per hour around town and will happily out-accelerate any of our four-wheeled friends from the lights. The Kawasaki J125 uses a Kimco Chinese base. The single-cylinder engine still says Kimco on the side, it's based on the Kimco Downtown 125. However Kawasaki have tried their utmost to give the J125 an air of quality using parts from Kawasaki's J300. Essentially the J125 is just the J300 with a smaller engine. There is enough under-seat storage for a full face helmet and A4 briefcase. Additionally there is a small glove box up front with a 12V socket, perfect for charging your mobile phone. There's a useful bag hook above the fuel cap between your legs too. There is enough under-seat storage for a full face helmet and A4 briefcase. Additionally there is a small glove box up front with a 12V socket perfect for charging your mobile phone. There's a useful bag hook above the fuel cap between your legs too. ABS comes as standard as does the pedal racy discs. There's even an anti-temper anti-theft ignition barrel, and the twin rear shocks have preload adjustment for carrying a pillion. It's a shame the front glove box isn't lockable, from 2019, the Kawasaki J125 is available in khaki with metallic moondust gray, as well as the black and green paint scheme it had before. It was then discontinued ahead of the 2021 riding season.